Well, June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, a great time to talk about the 55 million people around the world living with these diseases. Now, right now, there's no cure, and the cost and toll on a family can be debilitating. Now, research is key, but it is imperative that everyone is represented in a new partnership hoping to make that happen in the Latino community. Welcome to Dr. Irving Vega. He's from MSU. We've got Veronica from UMass Hispanic Center and Ed Postma from Exalta Health here to talk about Saber. Um, let's talk about this partnership to begin with. What, what brought all of you three together here into our couch today? Well, as part of the Michigan Alzheimer's Research Center, we are interested in increased diversity in the participants in this important longitudinal research that is looking at the factors that contribute to cognitive impairment. And to do that, uh, we and, and the partners that we have with the Hispanic Center and Exalta Health, we wanted to bring the research to the community, uh, into the community, and leverage the partnerships that we have developed throughout the years. That's wonderful. So you're, you are in West Michigan trying to get this done. Let's talk about what SABER stands for, what that means, and how this is going to work. So we call it SABER for, uh, in Spanish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do the same. Thing. Yeah, but it, goofy but, white girl mispronouncing things over but, here. Sorry. You know, savor is good too because we are fighting against Alzheimer okay. as well. But saber stands for supportive alliance for brain uh, research and education uh, in, within the Latino community. And what we are trying to do with this uh, uh, this program is not only to promote participation in research, but also bring education to the Hispanic Center and Salta about how to maintain the, a healthy brain. So it's a combination of both. And we want to actually get Latinos, older adults, 50 years of older, okay. to participate so that we can understand how the cognitive performance in, in these older adults and how they progress in the longitudinal way every year to assess their cognition. Okay, wonderful. And then obviously, both of these partners are great places to go. Um, you, you specialize in health and wellness at the Hispanic Center. So Veronica, tell us how, how you guys are participating in this and, and what you're doing. Yeah, so specifically here in West Michigan, a lot of our seniors have more difficulties when it comes to getting health and wellness checkups. You know, having that transportation to go to the grocery store and doing things like that. And, you know, especially going to the doctors to get that annual physical. Uh, a lot of them also don't have health insurance. So through this uh, research that we're doing, they're able to go to Exalta, get a physical checkup as part of that. Uh, research and then it's completely for free if anything we're paying them to participate as well so it's a benefit to them as well another thing is that uh, just from my experience working with our Hispanic seniors here in West Michigan is a lot of them want to practice their memory skills so with those cognitive tests they really feel involved and like they're putting an effort towards their memory as yeah. well take being proactive yes. mm -hmm. right so this is educational and and doing some research and then talk about Exalta um, how you serve the community obviously you're a big part because you're where the doctors are at, right? Right. So Exalt Health is a faith-based uh, nonprofit clinic. We operate in the Burton Heights area. We provide an integrated uh, health care model which includes medicine, dental, behavioral health, uh, vision, and spiritual guidance for people who wish it. 84% uh, of the people who come in our uh, clinic are people of color. 70% are Hispanic. And we are there primarily for people who are uninsured or underinsured or refugees. And in the uninsured population, 60% of our patients are uninsured. So our part in this is to collect the medical and to be a site for uh, the medical and the behavioral part of, of this particular operation. Our MAs, nurses, and doctors will be taking the specimens that are necessary, uh, centrifuging them, and then will do what the University of Michigan does in this as well, so. Okay, and, and talk about why this is so important, why it is important to look at all different groups to see, you know, how dementia and Alzheimer's is impacting them. There is an interaction between the environment and the individual, and everyone context is important. And we know that Latinos and African American are exposed to different factors in comparison to the majority group. And we wanted to understand not only the psychology and the biology of the individual, but also their contextual factors. And having part that diverse participation allow us to then dissect 
those points of what is biological and what is environmental. Yeah, so, so important to know. Yeah, how our, our environment has a huge impact on, mm -hmm. on, on our health. Mm -hmm. um, so right now, I mean, can seniors participate right this second? I mean, they can get, get free transportation, they can get paid for this and, and be a part of this. How, how do they get involved? So we're gonna try. We're gonna be launching this okay. at the end of, at the, be, the end of July, beginning of August. Okay. And we, the, the Hispanic Center uh, with Veronica, is gonna be in charge of the of the recruitment, okay. which requires a consenting process to participate in the research. We will we will be within the community announcing uh, when we're gonna open actually the door. We. Uh, we are very excited. We are ready to to go and bring people into in to participate first at uh, getting the consent at the Hispanic sure. Center and then uh, a friendly hand pass to a Salta <laughs> to do all the clinical work. I love it. I love it so much. So can people get a hold of you right now, Veronica, if they're interested? To the, then you can get a hold of them when things are, are yes, working. Definitely. Okay. Perfect. All right. So how do they do that? So they can call me at my direct line, which is 616-278-2890 at the Hispanic Center, or they can come in, you know, look for us, or they can also go to our website. We have a section with information specifically about that project. Perfect. So people can learn more. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I love that you're doing this. Thank you all so much for being here and for, for starting this. And you want to learn more about Exalta Health and what they do, um, exaltahealth.org for more information. We'll be right back.